So we've already looked at returning data from our database in a um, in a sort of associative and numeric array combined. However, what happens if we want to go ahead and only return an associative array to avoid sort of the size of this array getting too big, or we want to fetch it as an object perhaps, or just a numeric array? Um, there are others, but we'll we'll look at um, a particularly a, a one in the next video, which is fetching um, into a class um, with properties being set into a class. But for now, what we'll do is we'll look at just the num associative and the object um, different ways of fetching, and we'll we'll see how we can do this. So at the moment, we're just calling fetch, and by default, um, the we have a sort of way of being fetched as fetch both. So it's the equivalent of doing this. So it's PDO fetch both. So we pass that into the fetch method and it does exactly the same as we've already seen here. However, what we can do is we can change this to, to sort of describe how we want this data to be returned. So if, for example, we just wanted a numeric array, array, we could do fetch num. When we refresh now, we just get a numeric array 0, 1, 2, 3 for four fields and the data that relates to them fields. If we just wanted an associative array, we just use fetch asoc for associative and that just gives us an associative array. Now, more interestingly, and keeping in line with the fact that this PDO extension is object oriented, um, we might want to fetch um, as an object, and that's usually a preference. So we'll ch change this to fetch object, so OBJ for object, and we'll go ahead and print R on it just to see what this looks like. So that looks like this. Now, what's happened here is not much has changed because we've got the same sort of field names here or the same field names here but this is now an anonymous object and what that will actually allow us to do is rather than access the properties by um an, uh, in an array way we do it by an object way so we use um the hyphen here and the greater than sign to access the properties so now what i would do is i'd go ahead and create the while loop as we did in the last video and i'd say while and then place this into my while loop. So while r equals this result here, um, then what we want to do is go ahead and echo r message. And we can go ahead and append a line break onto that. So now what we've got is the ability to output this data, but we've returned it as an object rather than an array. So we don't need to mess around with saying things like r message like this we can just directly access this message property of the anonymous object that's returned when we use pdo fetch object now as i mentioned there are other ways to do this it's entirely preference of how you need to deal with this data it might be easier to return it as an array if you need to do something with it um, but in this case we've looked at fetch object and in the next video we'll be looking at how we can fetch into a class